Jake Tapper of The Lead was interviewing Marcus Luttrell, the lone survivor of The Lone Survivor, and Mark Wahlberg, and it got a little bit tense. Let's watch. One of the emotions I felt while, while watching the film is, first of all, just the hopelessness of the situation. Well, I don't know what part of the film you were watching, but uh, hopelessness never really came into it. I mean, I don't, where did you see that? Because I, I, there was never at a point where we were just felt like we were hopelessly lost or anything like that. We never gave up. Just, just, the, just the sense of all these wonderful people who, who died. It seemed senseless. I don't mean to disrespect in any way, but it seemed senseless, all these wonderful people who were killed for, for an op that went wrong. We spend our whole lives trained to defend this country and then we were sitting over there by this country, so you're telling me that because we were over there doing what we were told by our country that it was senseless and my dies what they died for nothing no i'm not saying that at all that's what you said now it almost went to blows just within the confines of that clip uh, and afterward uh, jake tapper has gotten a lot of criticism many people taking to twitter to say and in articles as well it's not just random people that he was saying they are dying for nothing and god he doesn't know anything about heroes and he hates the soldiers screw jake tapper uh, look, I'm not a huge fan of Jake Tapper necessarily day to day. I think he does some important reporting, uh, and I'm on his side here. Uh, I don't think that that's at all what he was saying, or if he was implying something like that, I think that people are either mistakenly or in some cases intentionally misinterpreting what it actually means. And so I want to talk about this. I want to make clear I have not seen Lone Survivor yet. I have not read the book, and so I'm not going to speak to whether in the case of Red Wings, this particular um, military operation if they died for nothing. I don't think that that necessarily even matters going forward, but I do think that we can take a look back at the military history of the United States and say that asserting that sometimes soldiers die for nothing should be entirely uncontroversial, but it doesn't mean what conservatives imply or think that it means. Jake Tapper there and me in this video, we're not saying that their deaths were pointless and so they didn't matter, uh, what happened to them didn't matter, it has no long-term effect. They're not saying any of that. What they're saying is that simply because the government says attack that target, take out that person, move into this area, that doesn't mean that they should have done it. We can look at these events and do a cost-benefit analysis and say whether or not it was a good thing that we did that. And in many cases, uh, I think that we go too far if we assume that the government is is doing or is ordering the, the soldiers to perform these actions for the reasons that they state. In many cases, they lie. Um, I mean, Gulf of Tonkin, you can go back to, you can go back as far as the, the war to take over uh, Texas, California, and those areas. Um, we will move soldiers into an area specifically so that they will be targeted with violence to justify further violence on our part. And I think that that's much more what Jake Tapper is getting into. What he's saying is that Mark Luttrell and those other guys in this mission and in so many missions, men like them, are put there by a government that, that doesn't have as much information as we think that they do, that doesn't have enough respect for the lives of soldiers, and so they should not have been there. That is not to say that when they were put into that situation, the way they acted was not courageous, that it wasn't brave, that it wasn't noble in some sense. It's not saying that at all. It's saying they should not have been put in that position in the first place. Now, I think that it's likely that because you're watching this video, uh, you're likely to be very well educated, I would assume, probably a little bit on the lib side. I think that you understand that. We need to be able to criticize the leaders in the military, the actions that the military takes, without it simply a straw man being constructed that we're attacking the soldiers, because that's not what we're doing at all. And I would say that those of you in the comments in these articles, on Twitter attacking Jake Tapper, you were helping to lay the foundation for future missions like what happened in Lone Survivor, for future unnecessary wars. If we can't criticize the military without being portrayed as unpatriotic or un-American, then we are doomed to repeat the failures of the past, particularly the military failures. And there will be more men like Marcus Luttrell who are surrounded by great men who are killed completely unnecessarily.